now. Good morning, Father Marcel. My reflection today will be taken from Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 6, verses 1 through 6, and verses 16 through 18. Jesus said to his disciples, Take care not to perform righteous deeds, in order that people may see them. Otherwise, you will have no recompense from your heavenly Father. When you give alms, do not blow a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, to win the praise of others. Amen, I say to you, they have received their rewards. But when you give alms, do not let your, do not let your left hand know what your right is doing, so that your alms giving may be secret, and your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites who love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on street corners, so that others may see them. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go to your inner room, close the door, and pray to the Father in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearance so that they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face, so that you may not appear to others to be fasting except to your Father who is hidden, and your Father who sees what is hidden will repay you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In this our Gospel passage, Jesus reminds us of three religious practices and also the best way to perform them, almsgiving, prayer, and fasting. We do not perform these righteous deeds so that others may see or so that we attract the attention of others so that they will praise us like we are holy or righteous and we do not perform all these righteous deeds in order to glorify ourselves or for self-gratification. Instead, we perform them for the greater glory of God, for the sanctification of others and also for our own sanctification. For example, almsgiving, this deals with our relationships with one another. Whenever we want to give alms, like the, past, the, the, uh, the passage says, that we should always do that anonymously and secret. So that, and one of the reasons may be to protect the dignity of the receiver. So that when we give alms anonymously, our Father who sees what is done in secret will repair us. And also prayer. The passage tells us that whenever we want to pray, we should go to inner room or just find a quiet place where you'll be less distracted so that you can have heart-to-heart -heart com conversation or heart-to-heart -heart communion with God. So that our Father, you pray for our Father who sees in secret, we repair us. And also fasting, this one deals with self-relationship. Uh, fasting, we... Uh, we fast in order to grow spiritually, in order to keep the body and soul together. So that's fasting, skipping food, or even eating less. However, the best fasting is we always avoiding the things that displease God, doing the things that we always please God. So may we always listen and pay attention to what Jesus is telling us and see we perform all these religious deeds. For the greater glory of God, for our own sanctification and this one is for the sanctification of others. May we, may we not perform them so that others will see us, we attract their attention, they will praise us to be holy or righteous. Instead, may we do that so that our Father who sees what is done in secret will always repair us abundantly. Amen. Amen.